Whale in the Sky Author Siddhar Chakravarti Illustrator Kaveri Gopalakrishnan Dadu and Muzna love watching clouds. Did you know that your name comes from the clouds? Muzna means the cloud that carries the rain says Dadu. There are so many shapes in the clouds a cauliflower, a mustache, a crescent moon. Muzna spots a dog-shaped one. It has such a big nose. See that cloud there? I know of an animal that looks just like it says Dadu. Really? Asks Muzna excitedly. It's called a whale, and it lives in the ocean. Tell me more. Says Muzna. Well, there are many kinds of whales, but the size of this cloud makes me think of a blue whale. The blue whale is the biggest animal that has ever lived on Earth, much bigger than a dinosaur and much, much bigger than an elephant says Dadu. So big. Says Muzna. It's so big that you would be able to sit inside its heart explains Dadu. Your dog's nose is floating away laughs Dadu. Maybe the nose doesn't like the dog anymore Muzna giggles. R. It's floating towards the whale cloud. What will the whale do with the nose? Fish need gills, not a nose to breathe underwater. That is true for a fish. But the blue whale is not a fish. It breathes air and so it has a nose says Dadu. It must have the biggest nose in the world. How does it breathe air if it lives underwater? Whales are very special explains Dadu. They breathe at the surface of the ocean. Ooh oh so the whale swims in backstroke? Muzna asks. In fact, says Dadu, the sound of a whale breathing can be heard from far, far away. The whale takes a breath, goes underwater, comes out of the water again, and goes p f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f dot. Each breath creates a fountain on top of the whale's nose. Muzna gazes at the whale cloud. The whale with the nose on its back is moving towards us, Dadu. She lies on her back, her arms tucked in like fins. Waving her arms, Muzna shouts, I'm a whale too. PFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
Those that live in the north never cross over to the south. Since the equator is not a real line in the oceans, only the whales know why they do not cross it. Even with all our technology, we still do not know how they do it.